So in the last lecture, we discussed about population ensemble, and also we calculate the sample statistic and also population parameter. So this lecture, you're going to do a short exercise, okay, to use the sample to estimate population parameter. So we want to estimate population parameter by sampling. So we use the sample statistic to estimate population parameter. So for example, now if you are going to do this exercise, okay, right after you watch these lectures. So what is the mean body height of all 144 students in this class? Okay. So the population is all students in ST01003. So altogether, there are 144 students. And the variable you're going to measure from the student is the body height. So while you're watching this video, I want you to compare it in 30 seconds. Will it be possible? So you might communicate with your friends right away and you collect as many data as possible. It is very unlikely you can complete this task. Okay. So because of the population size is too large or the hypothetical nature of the populations. So one way to do it is to use a sample. So you might be able to sample a few of the student. Okay, you can collect the data in 30 seconds from 10 students. So you can calculate the sample statistic. So your sample is consists of 10 students. Then you use the sample statistic to estimate the population parameter. So now what you need to do, you need to go to this website. Okay, and follow the link described below. So there's a link in the Smart UMS. So what you need to do, you need to download all the data, okay, of the body height of group leaders. So there are about more than 50 groups. So that means that you have about 50 group leaders and you have the measurement of the body height of the 50 group leader. So what you need to do, you need to download all the data, okay? So in Excel, so you can see the group and also the body height. And then just print it out and then cut each of these observation, okay? So you just print on the paper and then cut it out. Body height of each of the group leader will be on each of these paper. Then after that, you just put the paper in a basket then after that, you just sample, okay, just take, sample eight group leaders, okay, out of these populations. And then calculate the mean and standard deviation for the sample. So you just do it once, then you have the mean one and the standard deviation one for the first sample. Then after that, you repeat this for three times. So you do it again. So mean two, so you just put the sample back to the basket and then mix it well and then take another egg student. Then after that for the second sample, it's the same thing, you calculate the second mean and also second second deviation. After you have done this, put the student back into the population, mix it well and then do it again. So you should have one, two, three, four sample. So you have the mean statistic for the four sample. After that, you have to fill in this form, okay, with all the value that you have calculated. So after you have done the calculations, so just check the statistic that you have calculated for all your samples. Are those statistics of from different sample the same. So that means that is the mean is the same. Why? Or they are different. Why they are different? Then after that you can check the sample 
that have been met by other groups. So they're using the same populations of body height from all the 50 group leaders. Then compare your sample statistic with the other group's sample statistic. Are there different? So what does it mean? Does it mean our sample is not good? How different of the statistics that you calculate from each other? So take a few minutes to do this exercise. And this is very important for the next lecture. We're going to learn about the sampling distributions.